What's going on everyone? TJ Fitness Demons Reviews and together with me of the flight Project Catalyst pre-workout people Listen people, I'm gonna take you through the label of this thing It's not a very long label, but it is a very interesting one Then I'm gonna share with you my personal experience using this one over the last three weeks or so And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my final verdict Should you give a shit? Let's get right into it <laughs> Okay guys, so Alpha Flight is a company out of Philly and I did review their first pre-workout, Omega Sanction. It is here. It's this one, the green one. I'm going to put an image here. I reviewed it probably like four or five months ago. Anyway, really liked it. Tunnel vision, good focus, good energy, good mood, just, just all together a solid pre-workout. DMHA based, not super hard hitting, but good hard hitting, you know, like a productive pre-workout. Anyway, this uh, Project Catalyst, I think like a few months ago, anyway, long story short, this is supposed to be their other uh, alternative for a pre-workout. Now, as you'll see, this one has a much shorter label as far as the number of ingredients, but definitely a lot of interesting ones. So let me take you into this thing. Let me take you. Anyway, you have 30 servings. It doesn't even say how much uh, grams in each serving. It's one serving, one scoop. Anyway, vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin B12, put that aside. Then you have citrulline malate at five grams. So five grams citrulline malate is below clinical, clinical dose and it's also the only pump ingredient in this one. For me personally, citrulline by itself doesn't create an additional pump beyond what I'll get anyway from working out. It's five grams, that's what's in here, and that's it. Beta alanine, 3.5 grams, so they went above the 3.2. Doesn't say if it's the carnosine version, the trademarked version, or just regular beta alanine. Anyway, it's 3.5 grams of beta alanine. Then you have shisandra at one gram. So that's one a lot of shisandra. Second, I really like this ingredient. When you Google it, go go on WebMed or any other uh, uh, website that talks about the ingredients. This one has so many benefits. It's just an amazing supplement. Actually, there's a lot of people that take this thing just by itself. And there's medications that are derived from shisandra. I mean, different alkaloids, obviously. And we don't know if this, this thing is even standardized for any specific one. But definitely, there's two things you'll see. A lot of support for liver function. And then the second one you'll see is focus. It's an adaptogen. It helps with focus and stress relief and stuff like that. Anyway, it's a very good ingredient. And one gram is a lot of it. Then you have creatine HCL at uh, 750 milligrams. That's half of clinical dose of creatine. And also, generally speaking, with a pre-workout, with creatine, you're supposed to take it every day. You don't necessarily take the same pre-workout every day. And it's not going to have an immediate effect on power output, right? Like, like creatine does. So I generally speaking, I don't know why people put creatine in, uh, in pre-workouts. Generally speaking, unless you're taking it every day, it's just not going to be very helpful. So I'm going to put that aside. You have caffeine on hydrous at 350 milligrams. So that's a good dose of caffeine on hydrous. Solid, no, uh, not too much, not too little, just right in the middle for, uh, for someone who's regular for stims. And then you have DMA, actually the synthetic version of DMA at 80 milligrams. Yes, people, DMA, at least on label, right? I, now, I didn't think if, um, it actually says it here, right? It's a synthetic version of DMA, not claiming to be a botanical natural origin. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't say for research purposes only, by the way, which is interesting, which we've seen with the other DMA or at least uh, pre-workouts that claim to have DMA. Anyway, people. So this is the label. I mean, super, super simple. If I like citrulline mal, I'm putting it aside. Beta alanine, I'm putting it aside. You have the shisandra, then I'm putting creatine aside. So basically, you're taking, you're buying here. Here's what you're buying here. Beyond 5 grams of citrulline mal and 3.5 grams of beta alanine, you're buying the shisandra, you're buying caffeine at 350, and buying DMA at 80 milligrams. And that's it, people. That's it. Super, super simple. Obviously, the highlight here is the Shisandra and the 80 milligrams of DMAA. There you go. And it does say that the Project Catalyst formula was discovered in a secret government facility after tasting phase one. That's bullshit. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's get right into the actual experience. So listen, guys, uh, the flavor I have is Omega Bomb, cherry and blue, blue raspberry. It's actually a very good flavor. So like, I mean, it's good. Anyway. It's a pre-workout. Who gives a shit? And as long as it's not disgusting. Who gives a shit? It's not disgusting. It's actually okay. You're going to survive. Cherry bomb. 
I uh, cherry blue rounds. I, I don't know even if there's other flavors available. But anyway, you're going to be fine. Let's move on to the actual experience. So just as a quick reminder, the Omega Sanction one, like I mentioned, the main thing was the, the focus. It was very, very good when it came to focus. You just, and it was just one of these all around good experience. I really liked it. I enjoyed it. It's a productive pre-workout. Does Project Catalyst bring something very different to the, to the table? Is it, is it, is the DMAA here really changing anything? So my bottom line is, is that Project Catalyst is just as good as Omega Sanction, which means, which means you're going to get great focus. You're going to get good mood elevation, not crazy happy mood elevation, but good mood elevation. You're going to get the, the, just the right amount of energy to keep you going in the gym for a couple of hours. Just all around from a steam experience perspective, this is a super solid pre-workout. Super solid. It's not one of these crazy hard hitting you're gonna get like you know i call them the angry pre-workouts it's not an angry pre-workout it's just a positive mood elevation very good focus i would say i think from what i recall at least as good as omega sanction maybe omega sanction is a bit better as far as focus but it's not it, it i mean it's marginal really at the end of the day that's what i've been saying a lot of the times around dmaa type pre-workouts just generally speaking assuming this does have dmaa it's very hard to know there's not, my best experiences over time have not been with necessarily with DMAA pre-workouts. I had good DMAA pre-workouts and I know a lot of us like to celebrate the original Jack 3D and, and whatever. All that stuff, listen, there were good pre-workouts. There's amazing DMHA pre-workouts out there. There's actually amazing pre-workouts that don't have any DM anything. Like some of my favorite pre-workouts ever don't have any DM. This one theoretically has DMAA. It's just as good as the Omega Sanction without DMAA and DMA, it, it, that has DMHA. It is just a solid pre-workout. Listen, guys, so if you're looking for a tamed down steam junkie experience, not rage, just good mood elevation, super solid tunnel vision, no crash, no side effects, no nothing. You're going to be in the gym for a couple of hours and you're going to work yourself out. Listen, guys, this is a solid choice. If you see both of them, just alternate, see which one, you know, jives better with you. Personally, for me, it wasn't such a big difference. It's just a very good pre-workout. So as far as pumps, this, this doesn't add extra pumps from what you're getting from working out anyway, but it's a very good pre-workout anyway. So you're going to work hard. So you're going to feel the pump from working out. This, it's not going to be an additional pump effect from the ingredients here, at least not for me. The citrine malibite by itself for me doesn't do a lot. Even though there is 3.5 grams of beta alanine, it's just normal tingling. I like tingling, so it's okay. It's normal tingling. It does last for about 40 minutes, like the buzz feeling, which I like. So I, I'd say, listen, people, as, as a final verdict, overall Project Catalyst is a solid steam junkie pre-workout. One of these productive, productive steam junkie pre-workouts. More about focus, more about mood elevation, more about energy but consistent energy not hard hitting no anger no bullshit like that but on the other side no side effects no jitters no crash no shit just a solid pre-workout listen people as far as where you can find it, you can find it on the alpha flight site and then on a couple of other sites but listen i'm gonna link to the product page on fitness d news below so you can see prices from all over the web and compare them and just see where you can find it if you see both of them like i said i'm gonna link to the review of omega sanction below really liked it tunnel vision very similar to this one actually really i would say both of them are mostly mostly they feel the same mostly feel the same so the link is gonna be below listen people if this review was helpful in your alpha flight decision-making process, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this because this is what we do here. We help you think, not do. And if you want to save money, you know where to go.